So I'm thinking to myself, this is Tasting Room Radio. I'm Terry David Mulligan. And this is the uh, Mulligan Stew podcast and our YouTube channel. Uh, we are, um, how do you follow Bob Dylan's birthday? How do you do that? How, you've, you've got David Bowie's t- introducing him, Tedeschi Trucks Band. You got uh, Cuddy. You got uh, all the guys from Blue Rodeo, uh, uh, Greg Keeler. All of them have something to say about Dylan. How do you follow it up? Well, you had for Tofino, for the Wine and Dine. That's happening in 2024, June 1st and 2nd. I know it's right around the corner, but this is your heads up. You shouldn't miss this weekend, June 1st and 2nd in Tofino. And I have the two uh, co-founders and the organizers. Some would call them producers. Ronnie Lee and Ryan Orr. Thank you guys for doing this. As I said, if your phone rings, just tell them you'll call them back because we have something we got to talk about. Um, Uh, Thank you for having us. How many, uh, Ryan? Were you saying that you had that there'd been four of these previously? How many? No, this is this is our second one, second. Um, and uh, our our fourth fourth event. Ronnie and I myself putting on uh, two Tofino Oyster Festivals as well. So, uh, and what did four. you learn? What did you learn from those festivals that you apply here? Uh, well, I mean. Um, as much advanced planning as you can possibly have. That's probably what we've taken it. Uh, start start planning early. Uh, get the word out. Get a lot of people involved. Um, and uh, and listen to the feedback after the events. I, I think we're uh, every event's getting better and better. Uh, Ronnie, are you are you basically you're counting on locals to join you? Everybody on the coast there. We're actually we've got quite a demographic. I mean, Tofino brings in um, tourism from. Uh, Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver, Victoria, all over Vancouver Island, yeah. uh, Okanagan. So uh, we, we're going to see a lot of people uh, coming in from all of those areas. And then I'd say, you know, 50% of the event right now is looking local as well. So okay. quite a, a bit of people that are already traveling. Actually, you know what? That's a smart idea just because, yeah, you can you can sell the locals. But anybody who wants a Tofino experience over the course of two days, this is it. Exactly. And if you want to come to Tofino, often what happens is people get here and, you know, you, you might get to take in uh, one or two of the one, one, two, or maybe even three of the great restaurants and uh, get to see some of the food that Tofino has to offer. But uh, with our two day experience um, at the festival, not only do you get to see some great food from, um, you know, 20 chefs from Tofino and, and you grew it here on the West coast, but you also have uh, almost a dozen chefs coming from Vancouver, Toronto, uh texas all over all over uh, north america so I, I would it's assume, a great way I, to pack it in i would assume that the texans are bringing the meat <laughs> yeah yeah i actually own a wood fire texas texas inspired barbecue joint here in tofino so i'll have a little bit of brisket in my back pocket too okay ryan this is a two-day event is each day different one from the other uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, same location, same times. Uh, day one is uh, we call that sip on the shore. It's uh, uh, more seafood and wine focused, uh, although there will be, you know, a wide variety of uh, both food and beverage options. And then uh, we switch gears a little bit on Sunday to our uh, grilling in the garden, which is going to be a lot more uh, meat and uh, cocktail focus. And we also have a cocktail competition on that day. I'll tell you what caught my uh, eye, guys. <clears throat> First of all, uh, I like I'd like to see the Cowichan wineries there. Um, uh, uh, Emmendare, Unsworth, Sea Star on Gulf Islands, Blue Grouse, Shelter Point, Up Island, of course, the distillery, Salt Spring uh, Cider, Hoyn, um, and then I ran out of ink. Uh, what else? <laughs> oh, uh, Marydale. I mean, there's lots more. Are there any favorites mm-hmm. of yours? You know, uh, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, Ronnie, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, I'm definitely a big fan of uh, Avril Creek myself um, and uh, Phillips Brewery has got some fantastic beer as well as Vancouver Island Brewery coming up from uh, Victoria. Right. You know what? I mean, I, I, I like them all. I mean, I, I, you know, certainly a big fan of the, our, um, the local distillery, the Tofino distillery is a big yeah. one. Um, and uh, you know, it's, I mean, I, I like, I like beer. I like wine. I like spirits. I like it all. Um, so, I mean, hard, really, really hard for me to pick a favorite to tell you the truth. It's a tough uh, but, time. It's a tough time in the Okanagan right now because every right now, literally right now, between uh, when we're talking and June the first and second, every one of those vineyards that got absolutely run over by the deep freeze of the last two winters, they're walking step by step through their vineyards, trying to figure out what's dead, what's alive. 
Yeah, I, I was up there uh, in April in the Oliver Soyuz suite region. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's it's a pretty dire situation. Um, like you said, two years in a row, it's been really tough. Um, so, you know, we did have a couple of Okanagan producers pull out, uh, but we still have quite a few of them at the event, um, you know, and, and we're really, really grateful that they're still coming out and supporting us and being a part of this. Okay, Ronnie Lee and Ryan Orr, who are the co-founders and the organizers of the 2024 Wine and Dine in Tofino. Tofino, Wine and Dine. Uh, let's go to the Okanagan. Uh, no, the uh, yeah, the Okanagan. Synchromesh, Roche, love those guys. Love those guys. Uh, Liquidity, Road 13, Cedar Creek, Martin's Lane, maybe the best Pinot Noir in the country. And one of the best in North America, one of the best in the world. Checkmate, that's a good one. Mission Hill, of course, their parent company. Um, Creek and Gully. Uh, who else from the Okanagan did you want to see there? Uh, well, we got Road 13. Uh, we got Santa Julia. Um, you know, Kronos, there's there's quite a few there. I, th I think you got most of them, but um, yeah, quite 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 a few. Like I said, we're 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 uh, delighted and uh, you know honored by how many are coming, despite the you know the tough couple of years they've had up there. Come on, Ronnie, fill fit the bill. What 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 else do you want to talk about in terms of the Okanagan? Oh well, I I'd like to just go back to one that you already mentioned, uh, Creek and Gully Cider. Those guys are fantastic, yeah. um, and those girls I, are fantastic. I, yeah, exactly, exactly. But I met the father as well. Um, they, I met them at an event down in Victoria and uh, convinced them to come over last year. So we're really happy to see them come through again this year as well. They do get around. I see a ghost tequila, a North Point Brewery, a Driftwood Brewery, Tofino Distillery, um, Wayward Distillery. Lots of lots of brew, lots of uh, brew, and lots of uh, spirits. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wayward's are, Wayward's got a really nice product, and as Ryan mentioned earlier, the Tofino Distillery as well. But, uh, but yeah, no, really, really happy on the selection that we're going to be showcasing this year. So I've gone down to the uh, food segment now, guys, on your great website. GC's yeah. Oysters, a Sandwich uh, a Point Restaurants. Uh, we've got uh, the great room at the Long Beach Lodge. There's a couple of really interesting ones. There's Little Ronnie's Barbecue. There's Brown Social House. Nice. Uh, Taste of Tofino, Hartwood. Um, who else stands out for you? Uh, well, I mean, we've got uh, Marty Dean coming from Neck of the Woods Catering. Um, he's he's one of the uh, founding chefs from um, Wolf in the Fog when they first opened uh, Nick yep. Nutting's restaurant. And yep. Nick Nutting will be there showcasing some local nice. seafood as well. Yeah, Nick's, uh, Nick's a good friend of mine. So we've been spending a lot of time chatting. And uh, Nicole Gomez is coming in from Vancouver. Uh, so we're really happy to showcase her. She's a very close personal friend and mentor. Um, you guys may have seen her on uh, the Food Network, she's been on Top Chef a couple of times. She was winner of Top Chef All-Stars. Um, we've got Robert Belcham from Vancouver coming yeah, he's, over. He's a troublemaker. He is. He's, he's, <laughs> the man throws things. Can I tell you something about that guy? You know, I uh, I met him about six years ago at a Brewery and the Beast event, and we were cooking side by side. I had my smoker oh. there, and he had this pot of oil on the ground that he was deep frying some form of pig in. And... Uh, I just remember looking at it as like a pot of oil on top of an open fire and him and his, his son, his son was, was maybe like 10 years old or seven or eight years old or something, standing beside him with this like <laughs> pot of oil over an open fire. And they're just like standing there having a father son moment. And I just yeah. remember looking over and thinking like, I can't wait to do that with my son someday, but like, man, is that dangerous? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, I'll, I'll never forget the first time I met him there. It was, he's a good, he's a good fellow. Good for a laugh. Uh, Chef Carl, uh, Greg, uh, Rosie's Barbecue and Smokehouse, where's that from? Uh, they're in Vancouver as well, and uh, Carl's coming over, and he's going to be doing a couple of different barbecue items. He's featuring a brisket and rice dish, uh, a Korean style, um, and he's also going to be doing um, a pork belly that still has the rib attached, which is going to be a really cool item that we're going to be featuring. And then, funny story about Carl, he's actually leaving the event uh, Sunday evening when he finishes, and he's driving down to Texas to pick up a brand new smoker. So he's driving straight he from is. Tofino of to Texas. He <laughs> yeah, he's picking up a mill scale, uh, which is which is like it's it's a really really beautiful uh, smoker built down in Texas. One, one more guy, Brent Bushel, um, Bushel Barbecue. He has the size of a barbecue that looks like a small train. Let's see where yeah. he from. Where's he from? So, so uh, I I met I met him originally in Toronto, but he now lives in uh, just outside of Calgary, and he actually built my smokers for Little Ronnie's uh, Beachside Barbecue in Tofino. 
Um, he's fantastic. He's, he's a great, great guy, great barbecue guy. And he'll be coming up with his wife, uh, Amy as well. And actually speaking of Toronto, um, we've also got Lawrence LaPienta coming up and Lawrence, uh, he's actually got two Michelin bibs for his restaurant, Cherry Street Barbecue in Toronto. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Ryan, we're, we're talking, we're talking uh, smoke and, and, and brisket and all that stuff, but there's nas food. There's 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 the kind of food you would expect to find in Tofino. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nas is a, they, this is their second year at the event. Um, I I don't know exactly what dish they're going to be doing la, la, this year. I imagine it's going to involve some kind of local kelp product. Um, might be a nice surprise. Ronnie Ronnie might know, but I don't know the exact dish. But um, yeah, pretty pretty excited to have them here. And like I said, lots of just such such great buy in from the local restaurants. Tell me, um, like Ronnie said, you come out here, and you know if you're lucky, you get to two or three of these places. There you go. Um, tell, but you tell, can just come here and hit them all. Tell me about Nanam Ukmin. Oh, so that's a local local uh, local First Nations run. Uh, her name's Kayla Frank. I've known Kayla for years. She used to work uh, for me at a restaurant I managed here uh, back uh, in the kind of uh, around 2015 era. Uh, probably almost 10 years ago now uh called jamie's and she she worked in her kitchen there she's a uh, young bright star um and kind of went out on her own and started a uh, catering company so i'm uh, really really stoked to have her back again she's coming back for the second year and, um and, and she's uh, born and raised out here um to look with and, and really excited to have her as a part of and it and while you're on a roll the beat shack two guys Be- yeah, yeah, that one's. Uh, I, you know what? I, I'm going to actually hand that one over to Ronnie because he he's got a little bit more detail on that. that okay, is. Ronnie. Yeah, uh, the Beach Shack's actually my cafe. Uh, it's uh, one of my one of my businesses here in town. It's located uh, on the Pacific um, Pacific Sands Beach Resort, um, and it's uh, front and center when you pull up. And uh, we're actually just opening a brand new bakery. That's uh, the sister restaurant, uh, the the Bake Shack. So those two those two places will be at the event serving up some cold brew and uh, lots of delicious. Oh, sweets. Uh, wait a minute! Is Little Ronnie's Barbecue yours as well? It is, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> is, is so there, is, is there so a Little Ryan's Gino. Barbecue? Is Ryan <laughs> no, no. If if it was, it would be Big Ryan's. The uh, the zoom doesn't quite <laughs> capture the height difference here of the two of us. Yeah, okay. there's about three feet in there. <laughs> June the first and second. What's the price? Well, so with various, you can do weekend pass. Uh, it's from as little as uh, 150 bucks for a pass to 350 bucks for a weekend VIP ticket. So uh, there's VIP access both days, gets you in an hour early both days. It gets you four hours uh, as opposed to the regular three. Um, otherwise, it's uh, yeah, 150 bucks a day or 200 for the um, VIP and then 250 for a general admission weekend pass or 350 for a uh vip weekend pass okay um, it's, you know, it's all you can eat it's all you can drink uh i mean as far as i'm concerned it's a hell of a deal give them the website ronnie uh yeah www.tofinowinedine.com okay uh and there's a i think there's a, an information uh, email as well but these guys aren't they're not going to be seeing many keyboards from this point on they're just going to be running and gunning um so this is cool let's do this next year Absolutely, but instead, of, but that sounds instead fantastic. Of, but instead of talking into a camera and a thinker, let's just do it there. Absolutely, we, we, we've, yeah, we've got your ticket that. ready. The tickets got your name on it, Terry. Ready mm-hmm. to go. Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. Congratulations, Ronnie Lee, Ryan Orr. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having Thanks us. Lot, and, uh, Have yeah. a great day. Have we'll a great look forward June to seeing you next year, June seventh and eighth, twenty twenty-five. Thank you, boys. Thank you. This is uh, Mulligan Stew.